This is Dr. Saad in front of you and as I already told you that we will be studying the molecular basis of the cancer in the two lectures. So as we have discussed in our first lecture about the mutations and the genes that are involved in the mutation or in which the mutation occurs we discussed that in our previous lecture. Now we will be discussing the further that is remaining part of this lecture. So that first of all the scientists they observe that the tumors they are clonal tumors are clonal now what does this means that tumors are clonal just i'm making a diagram here for suppose these are your tumor cells clear these are your uh, these are your normal cells clear these are your normal cells and there is a genetic material in them clear now one of them is mutated means mutation occur in the genetic material of cell one for suppose and this become a tumor cell now as you know that every cell will obviously divide into two daughter cells every cell will produce two daughter cells clear so this cell will also produce two daughter cells one this and the further these daughter cells produces and they carry out the proliferation clear now this genetic material it is passed on to these daughter cells and they further passes on to their means further they passes on the genetic component so uh, basically when these daughter cells they were traced they all were traced so we found that they all arises from a single cell that in which the mutation has occurred so these were that's why that they are called tumors are clonal means they arise from a single clone means they arise all of these tumors they arise from the tumor cell they arise from a single cell single cell in which the mutation has occurred so this is basically meant by the tumors are clonal now basically the uh, you can say the mutations that occur those may be due to the environmental factor that may be exogenous or endogenous or you can say there may be inherited mutations so means those factors that are affecting continuously to the cell and they causes the mutation in the cell now uh, we are moving on towards the mutations that there are basically two terminologies about the mutations that we have to made clear here first is the driver mutation and the second one is the passenger mutation clear these are the terminologies that are very important to be cleared first of all driver mutations driver mutations and the second one they are the passenger mutation as we all know i have already told you that cancer it develops after number of the mutations they combines together and then develop the cancer clear now there are driver mutations as well as the passenger mutations now as their name indicate driver mutation driver mutation who is driver driver is the one who drives the car and the driver he knows that means where to go and where to means uh, where to move when to move left when to move right and what to do means that, that is the function of the driver and we are all for example sitting in that bus or in that car and we are all passengers if we are seeing the driver to take to the left or take to the light right and if he does not take he does not listen to us he just obey means he just work on his own he does not obey anyone and he knows what to do clear so these are the driver mutations that's why they are named as driver mutations and they are the passenger mutation now what are driver mutations driver mutations regarding to the cancer development what are those mutations these are the mutations that develops the malignant phenotype clear these are the mutation that develop the you can say simply they develop the malignancy malignancy develops malignancy clear whenever the malignant phenotype is developed it means that mutation that develop those malignancy they are called as the driver mutations clear so then we have the passenger mutations 
basically these mutations they are not that much harmful and they are not concerned with the development of the malignancy or you can say they do not directly develop the malignancy but in the driver mutations what happens for example mutation in the growth promoting genes in the growth genes obviously they means a gain of function in these genes leads to the development of the cancer loss of function of tumor suppressor genes leads to the development of the cancer so these all that we have studied that were the driver mutations because they were leading to the development of cancers but there are certain mutations that they are not concerned with the development of the tumor and that are called as the passenger mutation and that's why they are named as passenger because passenger can do anything clear so these are mutations that are present in our body and they do not say anything to our body so they are the driver mutation and the passenger mutation now the first driver mutation first driver mutation that causes the malignancy and that driver mutation is called as the initiating mutation means first driver mutation that results to the development of the malignancy it is called as the initiating mutation clear now uh, moving on further that as the tumor it grows so what happens that the tumor cell when this grows they compete with each other for the nutrition for the food clear and obviously when they compete with each other so one will win and other will lose so those they are winning or they are well adapted to the environment so what happens that they will there will be darwinian selection that is the survival for the fittest you all know we have all studied about the darwinian selection so here in the tumor this is also applied this is applied the darwinian selection is applied here too so that uh, those tumor means tumor cells they uh, means that they uh, adapt to the environment then uh, as the tumor it progresses it becomes more and more dangerous over time clear it becomes more dangerous then we have certain epigenetic changes that may results in the malignancy or you can say that may contribute to the malignancy so what are those epigenetic changes epigenetic changes epigenetic changes there are two epigenetic changes basically that we will be studying one is the dna methylation name indicates the methylation of the dna this is so simple but what is the function of this dna methylation what it causes basically it causes the you can say loss of function mutation or you can say silencing of the genes it causes loss of function mutation in the genes and that may be developed the the uh, the cancer clear then we have the second one that is the modification of histones clear modification of histones they can carry out gain of function mutations or they can carry out the loss of function mutation in the genes so they can carry out both of them and that's why they are also uh, means they can also results in the development of the cancer so with this our uh, molecular basis of the cancer our topic has been finished and in previous lecture we studied about genes and the mutation in this lecture we studied about the tumor about the clonal that how the tumors they are clonal about the driver mutation the passenger mutation the initiating mutation and the epigenetic changes so if you have any query so you can ask in the comment section and thank you so much allah hafiz